So with the warm-up events officially done, the seeds are locked in for the US Open. And man, we've got some interesting top four seeds, top eight seeds for the men and the women going to the fourth Grand Slam of the year, the final Grand Slam of the year. Let's go have a look at who is actually seeded and who's not seeded as well because there's some dangerous players there. All right, starting on the women's side of things. So we've got the top four seeds, Fiontech, Sabalenka, Goff, and Rabakina. Sabalenka just took over Goff last week in Cincinnati. So that will mean that Fiontech and Sabalenka can't play until the final of the US Open. Then we've got Paulini, Pagula, Zhang, and Krujikova rounding at the top eight, which means that they can't play anybody in the top four until the quarterfinals. So Krujikova, who's a very dangerous player for a lot of players, won't be dangerous dangerous for someone like Sviantec until the quarterfinals. Then you've got Zachary, Ostapenko, Collins, Kazakina, Navarro, Keys, Kalinskaya, and Samsonova rounding out the top 16. Further down the list, you've got Jabur, Schneider, Kostruk, Azarenka, Andreva, Hadaj Maya, Vekic, and Fernandez. And then the last part, Pavlyuchenkova, Bedosa, Garcia, Alexandrova, Svetolina, Putin, Zeva, Bolter, and Mertens round out the top 32. So Bedosa, who just had a really good week in Cincinnati, could play a top eight seed in the third round. So should be one of the most dangerous players in those first couple of rounds. But let's go have a look at the players who are unseated that are dangerous for the ladies' side. And this is Mova. She's number 49 in the world. She will be very dangerous, doing so well in Canada. Nobody wants to play her in the first couple of rounds, especially a top four seed. Mukova, number 53 in the world currently. Another unseated player that nobody wants to face in the first few days of this US Open. Nemo Osaka, another one that nobody wants to face early in the tournament. And we know that Sviantec had to face her early at the French and that almost ended in disaster. So at the US Open where Osaka's really, really good and done really well. Definitely don't want to play her early. Sophia Kennan hasn't been in the greatest form lately, but still another player that nobody will want to see in their section of the draw. And Emma Raducanu, definitely don't want to see her in the section of your draw, especially because she just brings so many eyeballs to the match and so much more pressure having to play someone like that. So those five players are going to be very dangerous and could potentially play first or second round against one of those top seeds. Over on the men's side of things, we've got top four seeds, Sinner, Djokovic, Elkra, Zverev. Now there was an opportunity for Zverev had he won Cincinnati to take the number two spot, pushing Djokovic and Elkra is down, but that didn't happen. So that is the top four. And of course, Djokovic and Sinner won't play until the final, which if you're a Djokovic fan, is probably a bit of a relief. Then you've got Medvedev, Rublev, Hercatch, and Rude rounding up the top eight. Further down the list, you've got Dimitrov, Dimonor, Pass, Fritz, Shelton, Paul, Runa, and Korda to round out the top 16. Then the second half of this top 32, you've got Umber, Musetti, Ojeli Asim, Tiafo, Baez, Tabillo, Hashinov, and Fis. And the last few guys, you've got Draper, Jarry, Bublev, Poprin, Sarundalo, Anaudi, Kaboli, and Lehechka. And again, there's a couple of guys there. Poprin won Canada. Lehechka's been dangerous in his comeback. Draper, absolute nightmare. So it could be really dangerous for maybe a third round, potentially, for a top four or top eight guy against those bottom eight guys in that top 32. Okay, have a look over at the unseated dangerous players that I've picked. Starting with Monfils. Just beat Alcaraz in Cincinnati, number 45 in the world. He'll be very dangerous. Nobody wants to play Lamont, especially in front of an electric crowd in New York. Berrettini, another one, 44 in the world. Had a really tough match against Runa last week in Cincinnati. He's been very, very good lately on the clay, and he made a semifinal here before, so don't want to play Berrettini early on. Stan Vavrinka, crowd loves him. He's been a former champion here, 179 in the world, got a wild card into the event, so you don't want to see Vavrinka anywhere near you in the first few days. Dominic Team, former champion, playing his last Grand Slam, got a wild card into the event, 210 in the world. And Denis Shapovalov, 105 in the world. Brings the electricity. North American crowds are going to get behind him. Very, very dangerous in the first few rounds. And we know Chapo gets fired up when he does play in, in this tournament. So very dangerous players you don't want to see in the first half of the week or even the first few days if you're a top eight or even top 16 guy. So there you go. They are the seeds. They are the unseated dangerous players. Let me know down in the comments below. Did I miss anybody? Are there any other unseated dangerous players? It feels like on the women's side, you could have put a lot more players in there. But those five on their day can beat anybody. And we've seen that, especially at Grand Slam level. On the men's side... Man, we could get some blockbuster matches in the first few rounds, especially if the top four guys have to play any of those guys. Imagine like a team versus Medvedev in a first round. I mean, how crazy would that be? That was a semifinal a couple of years ago at the US Open. But there it is. They're the seeds locked in for the US Open, which starts next week.